What is up, Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan, and we are checking back in from the Universal Orlando Resort for yet another Jurassic Roller Coaster Project construction update. And today we're getting views from the stores lot. As we can see, there are bunches of track and support pieces scattered around. And it looks like a lot is already headed over to the main construction site at Islands of Adventure. The roller coaster, which is manufactured by Intamin, is sitting here in rows waiting to finally be taken over and put into place. And we're suspecting that quite a bit has already gone up. Some of the track pieces you can find in here are massive, as they have double spine for reinforcement for very high G-force areas, inversions, and the likes. And we're expecting there's going to be a lot of it with this Jurassic roller coaster. Over the last couple weeks, crews have been very busy on the construction site, finishing up foundations and placing a bunch of steel for the maintenance barn, first show scene, and station. The construction crews that are in charge of the storage lot have been very busy loading up flatbeds literally every single day during the normal work week. And they're going to continue doing this over the next couple weeks. While I have not seen any of the large track pieces head over to the main site yet, we have noticed that a lot of the smaller track pieces for the maintenance barn and station area have gone over to the site. And we're going to actually head over there right now to show you what's new with all of the vertical construction. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, a view of the Jurassic Roller Coaster Project site from the air. Just look at the amount of supports that have been placed in the last week or two. As we can now see, Pretty much all of the ones for the station area are in, as well as the first show scene and turn. And we can also see some larger supports for the spaghetti bowl portion of the ride. But one big thing that's caught my interest, supports for the top hat are going up. Now we're getting a better look at the second launch tunnel, which has a bunch of seal beams right over the top of the track to enclose that launch tunnel there. And just above that, we have the first launch, which has supports now in place and track leading into that first show scene. And finally, another look at all of those supports now rising high into the air. Imagine the next time we go to this place, half a coaster or more will be built. Kind of crazy, guys. Really awesome to see. And we cannot wait to see more of it coming up in the coming weeks. Now we're back over by the storage lot where we can see crews placing more support pieces onto the flatbed. And we're not going to bore you with a whole bunch of commentary and stuff like that over the next couple minutes. So we're just going to play some music and let you enjoy all that was going on here at the storage lot.
So yeah, exciting stuff as we had a chance to chase down one of the trucks with some of the supports heading over to the site. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.